Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Little Midwest Reborns and Dolls. My name is Gina. In front of you, I have my beautiful Stephanie Renee. She's kissing all her aunties and uncles. Stephanie is still wearing this beautiful white gown that I put on her quite a while ago and well her mother just doesn't want to take her out of it because she looks so incredibly beautiful in her dress and so I'm not changing her because that's my choice. Stephanie has a bit of wild child hair. I did take her bonnet off because it was a bit warm today and I think she just kind of needed a break, but it was a beautiful bonnet and it's a little big on her. And this way too, you can see her face a little bit better. Now, the reason Stephanie and I are coming on today is first of all, we want to say, if you're new, Stephanie says, Mwah. and if you've been with us for a while, Stephanie says, Mwah. Mwah. we want to thank everyone for coming. We want to thank everyone for being here. And if you'd like to, please, YouTube really likes it when you hit that thumbs up. So give us a like with the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you like us and hit that notification bell if you want to know anytime I upload a video. Please, thank you so much. Now we are here because we are going to do a five question tag that was brought to us by Melissa over at Let's Play Dolls. And it is just five questions, guys. And it's called Favorites Tag. So you'll put the hashtag in front of it and then Favorites Tag. First question, what is your favorite candy? Well, my favorite candy is pretty much anything with peanut butter. Um, and I love, I love Butterfingers. If I'm going to go candy, I love Butterfingers. Um, and I love Reese's peanut butter cups and I love the M&Ms with peanut butter. So that is my favorite candy. Number two, what is your favorite beverage? I'm going to say lemonade kind of a tie between lemonade and like an Arnold Palmer where it's half lemonade half iced tea yum okay number three who is your favorite doll what's that Stephanie oh Stephanie said for me to not not to not be afraid of saying that sh that she's my favorite doll that she'll keep it a secret you'll keep it a secret and you won't tell anybody that you're my favorite? Hmm. You know, Stephanie, I think just to be safe, I better cover your ears. Okay, here we go. We're, we're, we're going to go. Okay, guys. Truth, Stephanie is my favorite girl. I don't want that getting around. But Michael is actually my favorite doll. If I had to really, truly narrow it down to one, I would keep my Michael, who is the Prince Henry sculpt by Andrea Arcello. It's, and this is the Vivian sculpt by Sandy Faber. And well, but I don't want Stephanie to know that. So we're not going to hurt anyone's feelings. But she truly is my favorite girl. If I could pick one boy and one girl, she would be the girl and he would be the boy. And everybody else would have to go bye-bye. Anyway, but luckily I don't have to do that. Okay, there we go. What's that, Stephanie? Oh, yeah, yes, you're right. I, I did tell everyone that you, yes, you know that I told everyone that you're my favorite. And you know that I don't want to hurt any of the other baby's feelings. So it was okay that I covered your ears. Okay, good. Thank, thank you for that, Stephanie. 
Okay, now we're going to move on to question number four, guys. What is your current favorite thing to watch on TV? Well, once it's in season, my most favorite thing is The Chosen. I love The Chosen. Um, I have watched first three seasons. You download an app. It is free. It is the story of Jesus Christ through the eyes of his disciples. Um, they show how human and yet still divine Jesus really was. The cast and the crew are fantastic. They're doing it over four seasons. Um, they do embellish. And when I say they embellish, they add or they add nothing to scripture, nor do they take it away. That that would not be right, and they do not do that. But they might say, okay, during this period of time, what we know about Simon Peter and his brother Andrew is that they were fishermen and this was the time period they lived and this probably what happened to them. And we know about Mary Magdalene and that she had been possessed by seven demons, but we don't know maybe what caused. So they'll make up a background as to possibly what could have happened that caused them. And they just show what I love about the chosen is it really shows Christ's human side. It shows how much he truly, truly loves us. And it shows the way the people that followed him felt and thought. And it, um, you know, all of the scripts and everything are gone over by a evangelical minister, a messianic, Jewish rabbi and a Catholic priest because they don't want to inf offend anyone. They're trying to bring everyone into this and just show how Christ loves us. And you get to know all the characters and all the people. I mean, I just love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. Anyway, enough about that. You didn't want me preaching at you, I'm sure. So let me go. That was number four. Number five is your current favorite song. Right now, any of my current favorite song is um, pretty much any modern Christian worship music. Um, I like Toby Mac. I like uh, Mercy Me. I like Michael W. Smith, although I haven't heard anything new from him in a while or I haven't paid attention. Um, yeah, I I really like the one song and I can't, I can't remember the name of it. I'm not good at that type of thing, guys. I'm lucky if I remember the name of a song, let alone who the artist is. I'm, sometimes I know the name of the song, but I don't know the artist. Um, so for a long time, it was, I can only imagine, which was, uh, mercy me. I loved that song. So, and then even though they're not, it's not, and that was, is not current. And even my, um, just from listening, my favorite song is still to this day. I finally found someone which was a duet by Brian Adams and Barbara Streisand because that was mine and Bob's song and I loved it. So that's it guys. Those are the five questions. If you feel like it, join in hashtag favorite tags by Melissa at Let's Play Dolls and um also, I wanted to ask you, where do surfers learn to surf? At boarding school. <laughs> Guys, have a wonderful, beautiful Wednesday evening. 
Remember, no matter what you're going through, God loves you and he's always there for you. Take care. Bye-bye. And Stephanie says, bye aunties. Bye uncles. I love you. Mwah. Mwah.